bottom two, bucks up one zip, Jay Bell. This one hit Watch Eric right Davis. Center. Here comes Davis. And Great play, and he slides in the water. Top four, one nothing, and I Barry Larkin, the leadoff hitter. The and they're tied at one. In the bottom of the fifth, it's 2-1. Kevin Jarvis still in. Al Martin and Kevin, not there. Down low it goes, and out it goes. Bucks up 5-1, a five-run fifth. And they go on and win by a final score of 8-3. The Reds' fourth straight loss. The Dodgers try to generate some offense. Roll Mondesi, a little blooper, and it scores the Shields. And the Dodgers now have gone up on the Giants. Base is still loaded. Mike Bush now. Karros off second. Get out of here. Mike Bush, grand slam. Talk about the Dodgers needing to get more runs from guys other than Karros in Piazza. Second and third, one down. Pat Listash. Look at Ruben Sierra get on his horse. Get there and got it. Valentin gets doubled off. He made a running mistake. He didn't know he caught it. Greg Vaughn prevented from scoring from third. Bases are loaded. Bottom three, Dave Nielsen. To right center, Fernando Vina, Jeff Cirillo score. Two nothing Brewers. Meantime, Scott Carl is fooling the Yankees. The Yankees are a very good hitting team off the of left handers. Here he gets Strawberry and watch Tino Martinez on a changeup, getting him off balance. Carl had it working. You mentioned that they've had success against lefties. Yankees 14 and 10 against them. Look out, Derek Jeter. He dropped the ball, took his eye off the runner, then got taken out by Valentin. He was okay. He stayed in the game. But the Yankees aren't okay. It is raining now in Milwaukee, and they turn Turtle 0 for 12 in his career against him. He grounds to Keith Lockhart. He's 0 for 13. In the fourth, Turtle. Been a good one so far. And April will make you go fishing. Strike three. He's 0 for 14. In the sixth, he strikes out again. I don't care who's hitting. When he is throwing that split and the fastball the way he is, Danny Tartable, <laughs> I don't care. You're not going to hit that pitch. Craig Paquette hits this one. Tom Goodwin, Mike McFarland both score. Earlier in the game, McFarland had a home run. 4-1 Royals. They go on to win by a final score of 7-1. to Jeff Houston went after a pop-up, didn't get the ball, but he did get a mouthful. And he's thin. They're not eating much on the road, so he takes advantage. Vaughn down looking. Canseco, curveball. Three Ks for Wells. One nothing goes to the fourth. Aaron Seeley, BJ Surhoff. Lefties at Fenway. Left-handers get that inside-out stroke going. It's that inside-out stroke right there by BJ. All he's trying to do is hit that ball off the wall, and the ball's carrying this hot weather out here on the East Coast. Chris Hoyles this time. Righties don't mind hitting at Fenway either. Third homer in his last four games. It's 4-1 O's. Number 15 for Hoyles. The O's defense in the eighth. Manny Alexander, they, they made the move to short because they wanted him to play and get a little defense in and comes up with a nice strong throw there. Randy Myers, five outs, picks up save number 19. No Alomar, still got that injured left ring. 2-0 against the Marlins and Devon White. Mims will get to it, look to third and throw it away. Sheffield scores, 2-0 Marlins. Same inning, it's three zip. And Mims, a wild pitch to Pendleton, 4 nothing. Kevin Brown is ecstatic. He's got four runs to work with. That's plenty. go to Chicago to help the Cubbies. Good defense here by Brown. Oh, look at the quick reactions and just a strong throw. He's a tremendous athlete. But when he is on, look at the movement he gets on the fastball. It looks like a wiffle ball. You ever play wiffle ball in the backyard? Look at the movement he's got. These hitters have no chance at catching up to Kevin Brown. And that is why he is dominating. How sweet is he at short on this play? Royce Clayton can play. This kid comes over. Look at the jump and dive and spin and strong throw. I mean, even Ozzy's got to enjoy that one a little bit. No question about it. Top seven, Cubs down a run, and the pinch hitter, Scott Bullitt, goes the other way. Mark Sweeney took his eye off the ball. Hernandez scores, tied at three. Two batters later, Luis Gonzalez. Off Stottlemyre, and Bullitt trots home easily. The Cubs are on top, 4-3. In the bottom of the seventh now, the Cardinals, first and second. And Gaetti gives them the lead, goes down the line. Jordan comes across, Mabry comes across. The Cardinals are up by four. Top of the ninth, after two, two out walks. Grace off Tony Fossis. McCray scores tied at five. The next batter, and walks end up killing him. Sosa to left. The pinch runner is Terry Shumpert. He scores, the Cubs get two out, runs in the ninth, and they win it by a score of six to five.
is your final score. Nothing Cleveland, Tony Pena, deep fly. And watch Rich Becker go back. This is a tough play. <laughs> watch him catch this ball over his neck. That is a, whew, that is an acrobatic catch. Still one nothing Indians, Molitor. Chad OJ, nobody can get that one. Two score on the Molitor triple. Twins up two to one. In the bottom of the eighth, four one twin, Jim Tomey. Rick Aguilera is going deep into the night. Hey. Speaking of deep into the night, two run shot, four three twins. Tomei moved up in the lineup and has provided nothing but heroics. Albert Bell, Don Hirschbeck, not happy with the call, and, and Albert gets tossed. Earlier, Albert grounded out, and he got in the face of and Hirschbeck after this, that, and he gets and booted. In the bottom of the ninth, Dave Obviously Stevens, Manny Ramirez. Sent to the locker room. And with Albert moving towards the locker, Al flashed, he missed this. He missed Manny going deep. Tied at four. The Indians now looking for a hero. Looking for their ninth win in their final at bat. Well, okay, left field. This game is over. Andy Murray has done it again. He hits it into the bleachers, and the Indians win it five to four. Celebrations at home plate. This is the ninth time they win in their last. Smoltz has been effective in every ballpark. He gets Bagwell in the outside corner. Houston's countering with Mike Hampton. Javi Lopez, 0 for 4. Pitcher's duel at the manufacturer runs. Well, when you got a pitcher's duel, you got a manufacturer, like you were saying. Here's a nice two strike bunt. Catches everybody off guard by Billiard. And this is how you get things started. Smoltz sacrificing the second. Grissom then brings him in. Atlanta manufacturing. It's up 1-0. Top of the fifth. Grissom manufacture this. Out of here. Two for five. Two RBI. 2 nothing. Atlanta. Smoltz actually let Houston back in it. Well, right here, it leaves the ball over the plate to Craig Biggio, and you just don't do that. He jumps on that inside pitch and turns on it down the line, driving in a run. They tied it on a sack fly. It's 2 2 in the eighth. Houston, Todd Jones, crime dog. Two for four, including that shot. 3 2, Atlanta. They've won six in a row. Strohs have lost five in a row. Smoltz get win number 16. Oh, Henry. Number 27 on the year, Spoh's early, 3-0. Not the way the Mets wanted to start. Top three, it's 3-2. Rodriguez pops it up. Gilkey and Ordonez, and what do you think happens here? Well, Gilkey takes control. He calls him off, but he just loses the ball. He just shanked it. I mean, that's all that I can say about that. He just missed the ball. Cliff Floyd scores, unearned run. Rodriguez to second. Then Ochoa Johnson. Strange play. You don't see that very often. Looks like it got knocked down. It was, it was really weird. And Pete Harnish is there saying, you know, you got to catch the ball. As for the other pitcher, Pedro Martinez, tremendous. Bottom six, Gilkey. He came his first two at bats and three of his four Ks. Well, we talked about him in the first show. He can overpower you with his fastball, and he can throw that breaking ball. They go in, Quentin McCracken to the wall, goes up and takes at least a double away from Ricky Henderson. Flaherty, solo shot, he's hitting 364. Well, he's gone over and he's working with my man over there, Merv Rettman, and he's got him swinging the bat, and Flaherty's got to be loving playing in San Diego. Watch Finley here get on top of this high fastball, drive it through, and that is a long home run. He's really having a productive season. Ricky Henderson getting on base quite a bit. Mm, Scott Brocious. Low fastball. He likes it there. Tied at one. A's. Team record. Homer in their 14th straight game. Bottom six. 1-1. One, one, one gone. Uh, Don Wengert. Gonzalez is 25th of the year. And the average continues to climb. He stays healthy. Texas going to be tough. Top nine. Art Howe. Johnny Oates, Rafael Bornegal to short. Kevin Elster, he goes for the force. Ernie Young would score. The A's grab a 4-3 lead. Bottom nine, same score. Pudges on first. Rusty Greer goes the other way. The ball will get off the wall. Pudge trying to score. Greer's first hit of the game, and it's tied at four. And that is where we now stand. A's Rangers, and it would drop. And in the game that has gone back and forth, as Steinbach comes across, it is now.
You know what the Mariners are doing against the A's. Juan Gonzalez to second, and game is over. The A's come back and take care of Texas, the final in 11, 5-4. Vortigo came up with a key hit, three for six, two RBIs and a double.